Well, at this point, we're often asked to further explain the use of the line command, especially as you would use it if you were laying out or creating a base plan for a garden design. Let's turn tracking on and distance on. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, tracking and distance are both on, and that's an important step. Then select the line command. We, we won't start it at coordinate 0, 0. We'll just click somewhere at a convenient spot on the screen. And now as I move my mouse to the right and swing down, when it's nearly horizontal, can you see that a, uh, a beige box appears that says polar 24730.0 angle of zero. All you have to do is type the, in this case it might be the front boundary of the site. So I will say for the sake of argument that's 25,000. So you type the accurate dimension that you might have measured or got from some sort of deposit plan and hit the enter key. Now it asks us to specify the next point. So you move your mouse and swing until things are vertical till you get that yellow box up. Now this site might be 35 meters deep. So that's a matter of 35,000 and hit the enter key. Now come across in this direction. Again, wait for the yellow box to appear and uh, what did we use? 25,000 and be careful that you add the three zeros to give it two millimeters and hit the enter key and we can come down then to the end of that line there but rather than snap to the end of the line there's nothing wrong with typing 35,000 swing and wait for the cursor to the box to appear and uh, then hit the enter key and right click on the mouse button and we're done. Now if we want to put in the, the footprint of the house, it's exactly the same approach. We'll assume for the moment that you've done some triangulation and you know the point that the, say the back corner of the house starts off, so it's just L for line. Start your line, you may come across for the sake of argument uh, 8,500 um, and as long as our box is showing we hit the enter key. Now there might be some sort of uh, um, porch area. It, it might be, uh, say, seven metres down, so it's 7,000, hit the enter key, we can come across over here, maybe 8,500. So can you see, I've run around the house and I'm simply knocking in the, let's say, 13,400 uh, 13, whoops, 13,450, hit enter, and so we're running along in that zone. Now, you, you might be able to put your dimensions in and close it around. That'll give you a good idea of how accurate your measurements have been. But you could do all sorts of things like click out here past that point, right click to finish, then draw a line, and you'll learn later how to, to snap to the end of that line. So you turn O snap on and we should be able to find the end of that line if we make sure with our settings we've got end point turned on and we'll OK it. Now we should be able to find it. Notice the yellow flyover so it's snapping to the end of that line and we want to go perpendicular so we come across here and change our set, take off end point and go perpendicular and OK it and as we whoops, I didn't, um, I need to do that again, and this will happen to you, L4 line, um, come in here to our set, we'll go back to having endpoint. we'll take perpendicular on, it'd be nice to be able to leave both on, but I think you'll find that endpoint will override it, but we'll try, because it's an important thing for you to learn, so we'll OK it. Now we can find that end point of that line. Can we get perpendicular? Yes, we can. So both are on and left click and right click to finish. So then all we have to do is to trim that overlong laying piece off. So it's modify, trim. The cutting edge will be this one. Right click with your mouse button and then knock off that bit there. Can you see that the line command in combination with tracking and knowing a little bit about the snaps and all of these are explained in great detail later um, provides an easy way of laying down your site plan. And that of course could be printed, printed off at that point and hand rendered if that's your bag. It was important to put that in at this point because so many students want to be able to do these sorts of base plans.